theater, ain't it? Last show, no talking woman. Show before that, no second banana. And if that dumb broad wasn't here, why'd you start the performance? She don't go on until next to closing. And she told me she was going to go in next door to the drugstore. Oh, what'd they arrest her for? Shoplifting? No. It's listening. Guten Tag. Sind Sie David Trewin? Ja. Darf ich Sie etwas fragen? <lacht> Sie dürfen mich alles fragen. <lacht> Kennen Sie zufällig diese Frau? Grace Turner. Äh, sollte ich das denn? David, mit wem sprichst du da? Mit zwei sehr netten jungen Ladies, Margaret. Da gehen wir auch nicht an der Tür. <lacht> ich glaube, Sie sind nicht der, den wir suchen. <lacht> Kommen Sie gerne wieder, wenn Sie ihn nicht finden. Okay. Wiedersehen. Wer ist der Nächste? Ein, ein Pensens. <lacht> Sorry, Your Honor. Good night, Your Honor. Well, for my congratulations, Tevye. Oh, thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Tevye, Tevye, I've got a piece of news that I think I should give you as a friend. Yes, Your Honor. And I give you this news because uh, I like it. You're an honest, decent man, even though you are a Jew. Thank you, Your Honor. How often does a man get a compliment like that? And your news? We've received orders that sometime soon the district is to have a, a little unofficial demonstration. What? A pogrom? Here? No, no, no. Just a little unofficial demonstration. <clears throat> How little? Oh, nothing too serious. Just a little piece of mischief. Just in case the inspector comes through, he can see we're doing our duties. But I don't know why there has to be this trouble between people. That's why I'm giving you this piece of news, so you can tell the others. Thank you. You are a decent man. And if I may say so, it's too bad you're not a Jew. <laughs> That's what I like about you, Tevye. Always joking. My congratulations to your daughter again. Thank you, Your Honor. Morning. Can I help you? I'm looking for work. I was told you may have some. You work with horses? I did. What's your name? Balam. Well, Balam, I wish I could help you. A month or so's time, we're bringing those yearlings down off moor. We need all the help we can get then. Is there nothing else? I don't know of any other yard round here that's taking anybody on at the moment. You come back in a month or so's time. Might have something for you then. I feel like going home now, Chip. I thought I'm getting too old for this. And it's getting rather chilly. Even the ducks know it. I can see it in their eyes. They're looking to overpower me and take the bread. I don't want them in the wings. I want them out. It's a pleasure. Okay, mothers, move. Come on. Come on. Okay, kiddies. Now you just line up in a straight line along here, and then come forward one at a time, because the doors open at seven o'clock, and Uncle Jocko just doesn't have time to rehearse each one of your darling acts. Now you, you stand right over here, girly girl. Uh, Gus, hit this girl with a surprise pink when she does her spot. Uncle Jocko promised she'd be a winner, and she will be. 
chip off the old sister's block. 